Is math truly for everyone? Should everyone study mathematics? That is the question that we're going to be discussing in this video. I received a very thought-provoking email from a subscriber here on the channel, and I thought, let me just read it really quickly, and I'll give my thoughts on it. And if you have any thoughts, uh, please leave a comment. It's a really good email. I'm just going to get right to it because it's very well written. And there's some things I agree with, some things I maybe don't agree with. Uh, let's talk about it. The person's name is Thanasis. It's a really cool name. And the subject is, is math truly for everyone? Hello, Math Sorcerer. I've been turning into your videos and genuinely appreciate the content you produce. A thought has been on my mind. Is math truly for everyone? I recall my high school days when my peers and I grappled with mathematics and physics primarily to secure university admission and later ascend the corporate hierarchy. The global student community is intensely competitive in this pursuit. However, is everyone inherently equipped to master math? Wouldn't it be more practical for some to learn skills like the carpentry or emergency first aid? The more I ponder, the more I believe it's unfair to expect everyone to delve deep into rigorous subjects like math and physics especially when the primary goal is merely to land a job for sustenance. This intense study regimen often results in anxiety, overeating, sleep deprivation, and strained relationships. Moreover, the sedentary nature of such a lifestyle can lead to ailments like diabetes. I firmly believe that individuals deserve good jobs without overextending their educational qualifications. Perhaps we should reserve advanced studies in math and physics for those with a natural aptitude. These individuals can understand the subjects more intuitively, potentially contributing significantly more to society. And since their inherent talent might lessen their study hours, they could maintain a healthier work-life balance. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Sincerely yours, Thanasis from Greece. It's a really hard, deep question about how should society be, basically, right? It's kind of a, a big picture type question, which it's not something... I personally think about a lot uh, because I realize that I, I guess I don't have much of an influence on how things are in the world, right? I can't really change the world. But I think it's a good question. I think it should be discussed because I think that through the collective efforts of many, maybe things can change. And so let's talk about it. So is math truly for everyone? Let's answer that question first. I, I do think that some people are naturally better at mathematics. That is 100% something that I believe. I have seen people that are just gifted. Um, that doesn't mean they don't have to work hard. But I have taken so many math classes, both at the undergraduate and graduate level. I've had so many students uh, in college, and I have seen people who are talented, and I have seen people who struggle incredibly with mathematics. So I don't think that everyone should be a math major. There are some people that struggle a lot with mathematics, and I, I don't know if it's the smartest choice. That Maybe they have something else they're better at. And that kind of leads me to your next question. Uh, you say, "How is, however, is everyone inherently equipped to master math? No, some people are better than others. Wouldn't it be more practical for some to learn skills like carpentry or emergency first aid? I think this. I think that many people have gifts. Many people are good at certain things. For example, I know lots of people who are really good with their hands. Like, I am not a person... That, that is good with my hands. I, I can barely draw a straight line. I mean, I, I don't have a lot of artistic ability. I have to work extra hard to do well in those things. For example, I, I play and sing guitar, but it takes me extra effort. I can put together furniture from Ikea or a bookshelf, and I have lots of bookshelves, so I've gotten better at putting those together. <laughs> but it takes me extra effort. Whereas I have friends who know how to build things who just seem to have this natural talent. And when I talk to them about their natural talent, obviously the response is, oh, you know, well, I had to learn it too. I have to work hard. It's the same thing when you talk to someone about mathematics and they're talented. You say, oh, you're naturally talented at math. They're going to look at you and they're going to say, well, I have to work hard. So talent isn't an excuse for hard work, but I guess what I'm saying is some people are better at certain things and that's just how it is. And I do think that if you feel like you're very good at something, I think you should try to pursue it if you want to. Right, if you want to, if you feel you're good at mathematics and you like mathematics, then you should pursue it. If you feel like you're good at building things, then you should pursue carpentry. You know, so try to find what you enjoy 
and ask yourself the question, can I actually live off this? Can I make a living doing this thing? Is it practical in today's society? That's another big question, right? A lot of times people have interests and it's not practical to make money. It's not practical to survive doing that thing. So it's a tough question. Yeah, so I think it's up to the people. I think that most people, I think everyone should have to do some type of mathematics. Uh, and at least that's the belief right now in societies today. Uh, in the U.S., for example, I can only speak for the U.S. because this is where I live. Currently, most students in college do have to take some mathematics here, the NASA's, but it's very basic. Uh, they don't have to do proof-based mathematics. I don't know how it is in Greece, but for example, um, a nursing student might have to have some very, very basic algebra but that's pretty much it. They're not going to have to learn trigonometry to be a nurse. Um, they're not going to have to learn calculus. Uh, a carpenter, uh, you know, should know some basic math. I mean, you're doing carpentry, you know, measurements and stuff. But they're not going to have to know like, you know, calculus uh, and stuff like that. So there's different programs for different fields, and depending on what you go into, um, some higher power, uh, certainly not me, uh, sets the, you know, sets the requirements. So. Yeah, I sometimes question those things, you know, what what should be taught, what shouldn't be taught, but I don't spend too much time on it because at the end of the day, I guess I realize that uh, I have no, uh, no, no deciding power there. But I, I do think it's good to do mathematics, and currently in the U.S., uh, if you get a college degree, everyone has to see some, some level of basic math. There's some algebra involved, and I think it's good. I think it's, it makes you think, right? And I think part of being educated, okay, part of going to college is being exposed to a lot of things, e even history. It's not just math. You know, I think that if you go to college, this is just my personal belief, and you get a degree, I think you should learn about things. You should learn about how your government works. You know, how if you're in the U.S., you should learn about the American government. I, I I took that class and I hated it, but I'm glad I did. You know, you should you should study you know humanities, learn about you know the past, so that when things happen in the present, you can look back and say, oh, I remember that from history class. That happened once with the Romans or somewhere in Africa or whatever, as long as you become a well-rounded individual, I think that's important. That's, and that's something that an educated person has. And I think that's important. I think that makes you a better functioning member of society because it's not just about getting a job. You know, if you live in a society, you work, you pay taxes, you interact with other people in your society, um, you know, you drive the roads, you go to the store, you know, you, you're interacting with your community. So I think that being a well-rounded individual that contributes to society in every possible way helps you and it helps the rest of the world. And that's that's the ideal world, right? Where everyone is somehow contributing to society and everyone is happy. It's like utopia, right? So being educated kind of, I think, helps people get there a little bit, if that kind of makes sense. It's good to be well-rounded. It's good to know a lot of things. So I do think math is one of those things, among other things, right? Biology, science, history, humanities, psychology. I think those are things that help you become educated. So yeah, that's just my thoughts on that. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments on this. Uh, maybe other people have thoughts on this question from Thanasis. I just thought it was a really interesting email because, again, it's not something I really think about. And those are my thoughts. So I would say that, yeah, I think everyone should do some math. But at the same time, I think everyone who goes to college should come out and be somewhat of a well-rounded individual, you know? So try to appreciate those classes you take that you don't want to take. You know, I, I regret not taking economics. That's a class that I never took because I love finance. I think everyone should take a course on nutrition. I, I took a course on nutrition. That was a great course. I learned about calories, diet, all kinds of stuff. So yeah. Anyways, leave a comment if you have any thoughts. And if you want to learn mathematics, I do have courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you decide to learn math through my courses, please use the links on my website as it helps me greatly. If you found any value in this content, this very random video uh, from a subscriber from Greece, Thanasis, <laughs> uh, consider hitting subscribe today. Uh, I post all kinds of uh, content here. And I also have a fitness channel, The Fitness Sorcerer. Just Google it, uh, search for it on YouTube, The Fitness Sorcerer where I post fitness content and I do product reviews. It's like my other channel. So yeah. Anyways, if you take anything away from this video, it should be, should everyone study mathematics and how much should they study? What do you think? Leave a comment. Go do some mathematics.